Hi, I'm Phil from Driftworks. This is my buddy Jay. You probably recognize him from all the V10 M3 videos where I spend a lot of time torturing him. Uh, but he also has his own fleet of cars and one of them... It's, it's going to get a lot smaller soon, I tell you. <laughs> you reckon? Why? Because I'm probably going to have to sell the van to buy a gearbox, but you know. <laughs> so yeah, the reason he's talking about that is because, as you probably heard him mention, countless times He's become a huge fan of LS engines, or more specifically... Just V8s. Forced induction V8s. And he's decided that he's going to build a 1000 BHP uh, engine. Whoa, 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 I think it's HP. That's ha oh, sorry, sorry, yeah. Let's not go over the top now. Not, not wheel horsepower. No, uh, no. Yeah, well, HP. No. So yeah, what he has here is, I'll let, you, let him explain to you what bits he's got. What we have here, is the remains of a Gen 3 LM7, a steel 5.3 LS. The block that everybody wants for throwing boost at, I believe. Well, yeah. It's kind of like the, um, it's just a cheap LSX, isn't it really? Well, I guess it is an LSX, but without the bill. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, I think it doesn't have the fancy stuff like water running the opposite way around and all sorts of cooling stuff that not LSXs yet. have. No, oh, you're going to do them no, mods, are you? <laughs> no. So, yeah, tell the people what your actual plan is because there's all sorts of stuff that people heard you talk about uh, in my V10 videos. Yeah. And one of those things was a... I can't even bring myself to say it. It was a convertible fox body. Oh, incredible. <laughs> incredible to look at. I'll, I'll put it that way. Incredible to look at. And then I went to buy one. And then I went out in it. And, and you didn't I, feel like vanilla ice? I, I mean, it, it was like whatever that storm was called the other week. But I just... I don't know. The thought of being in it was not how I imagined. Jay described it to me. I asked him, how was it? Have you bought it? And he said to me, it's like driving a tent. An old tent. <laughs> An old tent specifically. But yeah, I mean, that's how I would describe it. But yeah, I, I, I just didn't like it. No, good. Uh, it's a shame because the way it looks is just... <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely love fox bodies. But yeah, I used to until I went in one. <laughs> but a convertible fox body. I don't think that matters. The oh, dash, nah. the seats, the door cards, it's all still the same. Yeah. So you have a few other cars, as I've mentioned, and we, I was kind of keen on the idea in the first place, but you have come around to the idea oh. of putting but it in. My SN95 Mustang, which yeah. I've spent two years trying to make work, and now I'm going to take apart again. Yeah, so you built it as kind of a track day car, didn't you? Yeah, it made like three and a bit hundred horsepower at Greg's and it was all right. Yeah, uh, let's cut to burnout outside there. <laughs> oh yeah, that was when it was broken. Oh, was it? Yeah, that was when it was on uh, seven and a bit cylinders. Right, okay. So let's show him how to do a burnout. Hold the slimer. Okay, slimy. <laughs> Don't spit on me. I will. Or throw up. Or throw up. <laughs> Someone's going to spit on someone. You ready for this, Rexy? You're about to see your dad in a whole new dimension. Flip flops. One sec. Oh, uh, you're in flip flops. Yeah, it's not the burnout footwear. Now, this is. Everybody, this is a Mustang, so everybody yeah. stand so, 10 meters further back than you, back than you normally Guys, would. It's a Mustang! Run! <laughs> what do you think about back that? Back to school. Thing? What do you think about that, dude? No one dies. Yeah. It's all ripped to pretty fat skid. I mean, if it's one thing it does, it does burn out. Okay. And, you know, I think it looks absolutely amazing. I was never a big fan of them before you got one. Well, that's and when I saw yours... normally when you see one, it makes your eyes bleed. <laughs> <laughs> but yours on the harsh. BBS wheels and getting the stance right and everything like that, it yeah. just looks really good. So, the plan is to... You know, um, sacrilegiously chuck a Chevrolet engine in a Mustang. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. No, and throw how much boost at it? Oh, it looks like it's going to be one and a half bar ish. Yeah. And what uh, turbo was it that you got in the end? Borg Warner S471 from the man they call Stavros. Okay, yeah, and I yeah. think I've got a picture of that, so I'll put that here. Yeah. <laughs> that so, thing that thing is massive. It's like, not. It, it's not compared to what I keep watching on the line. Yeah, well, that's the problem. Both me and you really enjoy watching things like Street Outlaws. A 475 <laughs> seems to be the small one, and I've got a 471, so uh, we'll have to see how that goes. But. but more than enough, in theory, for over a 1,000 horsepower. Well, roughly a yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, obviously starting with the steel block is always a good idea. Yeah. Um, what else have you got? This pallet of. Is this scrap? Is it? Well, 
Uh, it's a shame really it was a Gen 3. These are what they call Gen 3 rods and pistons. Yeah. Dish top, little less compression and I mean what they call a weedy rod. Yeah. But, I mean it's still quite beefy but the Gen 4 is quite a lot stronger. Had it yeah. been a Gen 4 I'd have probably just filed the ring gap and, grap and um, sent it. But yeah. Because it wasn't I had to go on summit and uh, I didn't have to but I decided to go on summit. First here's the crank it's awesome it's in very good condition again yeah, more to than be up fair, to the job. No, nothing was wrong with that engine. Right? Yeah, you've just oh, I've started to clean the deck here. I've given the bores a little tickle with um, yeah. the plate hone. And yeah, but it's not being overboard. No, nope. uh, it's standard type size pistons, and you've just literally honed. Um, just what, cleaned up the yeah, bores, and, and it looks that's all killer. I've done. Yeah, absolutely killer. So back to what you're going to put in it. What we're going to put in it is Summit. I think it's a new kit, or fairly new kit of completely standard bore and stroke HB and rods with yep. ARP bolts yeah and are you telling me that the ARPs are more expensive than the well rods? my my reason for buying it was I could have bought gen 4 rods for $80 100, yeah. 100 pounds delivered and then the ARP bolts to go with them are another 120 so that's like two, 250 quid and they were $500 so <laughs> that made sense to buy those and then that, I mean you're talking about these numbers for for me, they are insanely low. Like, how cheap is that stuff? It's well, I don't know. I'm not you. Well, yeah. When, <laughs> when you're, to me, that's a reasonable amount of money. You yeah. Know. But for a thousand horsepower, I'm talking about like in realistic terms for a strong engine in BMW land. Can you imagine spe like well, that's stuff? Well, I don't have BMWs anymore. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So anyway, yeah, we've got Summits. Ooh, they look fancy, don't they? Well, they were right. Yeah. I mean, I don't know who they're made by, but Summits own brand. Uh, forge pistons and those are standard compression ratio again. standard right? compression with those heads it's going to be 9.7 to 1 yeah uh, uh, standard heads they're not doing anything on them at all no 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 brilliant standard heads standard uh, well I'm changing the valve springs valve springs and uh, a trunnion upgrade to save bearings flying through the engine when it all right. falls apart but excellent yeah we've got the most expensive bolt of, uh, box of bolts that I've ever bought in my life. <laughs> ARP head studs to hold the thing together. Yeah. Um, we've got... Here. It's a big box, or was it just your workbench? Oh no, this is just a box of treasure, but we have... Oh, I see. We have... This bit will make a bit of, a bit of difference. That's a... Uh, Brian Tooley Stage 2 Turbo Cam. Nice. Everybody likes numbers. There we go. There's some numbers. So what does that do then? Well, that High lift? Gives it, that gives it like 400-ish NA horsepower, apparently. Yeah, yeah. According to the main man, Richard Holdner, on YouTube, if you're into Turbo <laughs> VH, just watch him because he tests <laughs> absolutely everything yeah. and just puts the result on YouTube for no reason other than fun. Yeah. So Spend a lot of time watching him. Also spend a lot of time watching Engine Masters, which is absolutely brilliant. Roadkill crew, um, much respect. Yeah. yeah. So you've got your recipe, you've got most of the bits. I've got, well, I've got- uh, yeah, the engine. Yeah, some of the bits. Now I just need the really expensive fuel bits. Yeah. And uh, wait, well, we've just ordered a wastegate today. Yep, so, so we've got a we're going turbo, turbo smart. smart 60 mil gen five. Who did you order that from, Jay? From you. <laughs> from Driftworks. Yeah. So, yeah. Did you know that Turbo Smart is available from Driftworks? There you go. Ha. Yeah. <laughs> see, I do. See, Starkey, I do remember to mention the shop sometimes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, what are the headers? What, what have you got here? Uh, I don't think I'm going to use them. No? No. Well, I've, I've got the choice to use them mm -hmm. because the man offered me them when he dropped the engine off. Yeah. But it just seems like it's going to cause me more more hassle than it's worth when I can just bolt the truck ones on, which will definitely point in the right direction. And what, not seriously, just bolt, just use those? Yeah. And, that, and that'll still flow a thousand horse. You need to watch more Richard Holden. <laughs> I obviously do. Don't mess about with Gordon. What have I been messing about with LSX NA stuff for? Well, I don't know. We did tell you. <laughs> Heat. So, I mean, to be fair, I've got to clean these. Yeah. They're pretty disgusting. But they'll work. I've got um, LS2 car intake which Craig had luckily to clear the bonnet yeah um, I've got I've got to still order the sump they do Holly do a conversion sump for a Mustang so straight bolt in no messing yeah so yeah I still and need to. management what 
you uh, think Harley Terminator X. Yeah. Complete I've, with a loom, with a white brand, with a touch screen. Well, if you want it to do electronic throttle, it's $1,200. They're yeah. absolutely everything. But that, again, we watch plenty of stuff from the States and how easy it is to do that. I mean, what's the, what's the one that I've got in the Impala? It's a sniper. It's a sniper, or yeah, Harley Sniper. And it's absolutely amazing. Like, put in some numbers uh, and press go and then start the car and it just goes boom yeah, every I mean, I, time. I've ordered, um, well, I'm trying to keep it as a simple recipe because I haven't got all the time in the world. So I need to just buy everything and make it all work together without having to make too much stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah, I've got um, Snake Eater performance injectors coming, some 1500 cc's. Yeah, big boys. Um, which the data is available on the Harley, so I just type in what I've got. It scales itself. Yeah. And I mean, in theory, that's how it works. But yeah. you know, not not having had one yet, I, I don't know. Yeah, excellent. But that'd be the plan. Excellent. So yeah, I think you're gonna go and you're gonna take the crank I'm rods and pistons. I'm taking the crank, the rods and the pistons for balancing tomorrow because they're quite a lot heavier than the ones that came out. Yeah. And um, hopefully I'll have those back balanced. next Friday. Um, yeah. I need to put an order in for gaskets and bearings and stuff. So that'll be 50p. Well, be 100 quid or something. <laughs> yeah. I mean, where'd you get an MLS head gasket from for 20 quid? It's mad, isn't for it? For a genuine one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just. I don't think Americans really appreciate how lucky they've got it. <laughs> like with. Well, it's the... not even Americans. It's just LS. Stuff. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> I mean, it's just the factory. The factory gaskets are MLS, aren't yeah. they? Which helps, but. Yeah, I mean, that's a 150 quid gasket, isn't it? If yep. you've got an Nissan or something. It's mad. 20 quid. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, watch this space. I think um, hopefully going to gather, gather some momentum now. And, uh, yeah, let us know if you're interested in Jay's little project. Let me know if you want to buy me a T56 Magnum because I've, I've got to get my head around spending that much money on a gearbox. <laughs> but I don't think there's a way around it. <laughs> Wicked. Well, <laughs> thanks very much for watching and we'll keep you updated. Here's Jay's Instagram. Bam. And, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks. At Driftworks, we've helped over 50,000 happy customers since 2004. Our huge online parts store is simple to use, with superb shipping rates to anywhere in the world, and finance options available for UK customers. We live and breathe wheel fitment, so if you have any questions about your own car or any of our products before placing an order, please drop us an email at shop at driftworks.com or give us a call. Thanks for watching.